The Senate is broken and not working for the American people. Those were the words from Democratic Senator Tom Udall in his farewell speech on the Senate floor. This as Congress is deadlocked on a COVID relief package still. Joining me now is retiring Senator Tom Udall, who serves on the Appropriations and Foreign Relations Committees. Uh, Senator, thank you very much. You were passionate in speaking out. What changes do you think can be reasonably expected to break this paralysis? Well, I, I really think that they need to take a hard look at the Senate rules. Uh, the rule right now requires a supermajority to do almost anything that's big legislatively. And so I think uh, you've got to, to break that and get back to the thing where you have, you have talking, you have amendments, you allow a lot of debate, but at the end of the day, a majority decides the issues that move forward. Otherwise, uh, this paralysis, I think, will deepen. And you can see the frustration. The, the package that's coming forward now is Democrats and Republicans meeting together to try to go around the leadership and go around uh, the other incoming fire they're getting to just try to break this deadlock. I mean, just in the last 48 hours, the president had a new proposal on stimulus. Mitch McConnell had a new proposal to get rid of the two most controversial factors and just proceed as though that could be a solution, ignoring this bipartisan group that had come up with something that was endorsed by both Schumer and Pelosi. And so you're working backwards with a one-week extension that's not helping anyone, people leaving town. I mean, people are justified in saying, what's going on here? To say nothing of the fact that Ron Johnson, one of your colleagues, is now talking about hearings next week to relitigate who won the election even after the Electoral College has voted. You know, we, I don't think we've ever seen anything like this in American history. I, I remember seeing a couple of tapes in the last couple of days of all the presidential candidates stepping forward, whether Democrat or Republican, and saying, you know, the time's done, it's the election's been held, uh, I'm going to concede, and I, I wish the uh, person the very best. We don't see that from this White House. I mean, this is, this is really one of the most destructive things that can happen. Uh, we need a peaceful transition of power, and that's where I think we need to head. But I don't think we're going to get it uh, from the Trump administration or from President Trump. And so much is now resting on that Georgia Senate runoff of those two seats. Yeah. Um, either way, though, the margins are going to be so close. I mean, obviously, it'll be very different if there is a majority, a Democratic majority. It'll be different for Joe Biden. Uh, he seems to think that he can get along with Mitch McConnell, who he knows well. He's avoided saying whether or not they've talked, so it's pretty clear implication they have talked. Can personal relationships with Joe Biden make the difference? Well, I, I think that the president-elect, with the experience he has in his 36 years in the Senate, his incredible ability to deal with every single senator, whether it's a Democrat or Republican, uh, I think that's going to make a big difference. The question is, is whether you get the same response uh, that the majority leader had for President Obama when he said, I want to make sure he's a one-term president. Uh, we don't want to see that kind of thing uh, in the Senate from either side. When you have a president, let's give him a chance to get going and try to work with him to move for progress for the American people. Well, I want to say, Senator Tom Udall, uh, you come from a storied political family of great, <laughs> great public service. I first covered Mo Udall in 1972. So just thank you for everything you and your family, your wife, have done over all these decades. I'm um, just sorry to see you leaving the Senate. Well, uh, thank you so much, Andrea, but uh, I, I'm not giving up on public service, so maybe you'll, you'll have me on later and other things that I'm oh. doing. Thank you. <laughs> come, come back often. Thank you very okay. much.